Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kelvin of We Do Movies, and I'm back with another review. This uh, review is for the docuseries Rapture. Now, this docuseries is produced by Mass Appeal. For those who don't know about Mass Appeal, they are a multimedia company out of New York. They specialize in television, movies, and also music. The docuseries is also available on Netflix. So if you have a Netflix subscription, do yourself a favor and check this out. If you love docuseries and if you love hip hop, I truly believe that this is something you might want to look at. The docuseries has eight episodes, all about an hour or so, and they chronicle the beginnings and stardom and the continuation of where they are right now. The eight individuals that are chronicled in this docuseries are Logic, Nas, Dave East, T.I., G-Eazy, 2 Chains, Rhapsody, Just Blaze, and A Boogie with the Hoodie. And each episode you get to learn more about who they are, who they are as artists, what they mean to the different people who listen to them and look up to them. I love the fact that they take their time with each individual and the stories to tell in every episode. My favorite episode that I can honestly say, one of them, is the episode about Rhapsody. Now, if you don't know about Rhapsody, I think that you guys need to pay attention to this lady. She is fierce. Love Rhapsody. I've been listening to Rhapsody ever since she first came out. Uh, She was uh, in college, and she was in a group called Cooley High. And I remember Cooley High because not only did they have a mixtape, but I do remember Cooley High also having like a documentary movie that came out around the time when when, uh, that mixtape came out. I believe that documentary about Cooley High is actually on YouTube because I think I saw it on YouTube. But that was a that was a while ago and I can't remember. It might have been on YouTube. So if, if it is on I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. So if you guys want to check that out, do yourself a favor and check that out as well. But one of the reasons why I loved this part about Rhapsody is because I just did a review for another original Netflix movie, which was Roxanne Roxanne. And that movie was chronicling the life and uh, of pioneer female MC Roxanne Chante and showcasing the brilliant talent and, and skills that she had and also the drama in her life that she had to go through. And I love the fact that they took their time and created a whole story for Rhapsody because Rhapsody is so good. She's so talented, fierce. She may be a female MC because I know a lot of people look at her as just a female MC. But Rhapsody is probably better than 99.9% of the rappers that we all listen to. I just think her wordplay is so, so incredible. But the fact that I just did that review about Roxanne Shante and they have a story on this docuseries about Rhapsody, once again, this goes to the narrative that I said in the review for Roxanne Roxanne is that we need to pay more homage and more respect to the females in hip-hop because, yes, Hip hop is male driven. We all know that. But there are some female MCs out there and, and from the past who have paved the way. And in some way, we didn't kind of forgot about who they are and, and focus more on the men. But I just love that episode of Rhapsody. I love her foundation. I love the fact that through the toughest times where she wanted to quit, she actually just kept going because she saw something different with this project, her Layla's Wisdom project. The other story that I actually liked in this was the T.I. story. 
In that particular story, not only did you know get to know T.I., T.I., the hustler, the artist, the father, the businessman, and now community leader and civil rights leader, uh, that particular story is, you know, it goes through the whole Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Philando Castillo, Alton Sterling, um, Alton Brown, all of, all of these particular people. And it's just him trying to reflect on, okay, I'm a father and what should I tell my kids? And then what should I tell the people that listen to my music? How do, how do I convey the, the, these messages to my kids and my fans? And I think they, they do a pretty good job and not only showing how T.I. has to handle both things, but giving T.I. the chance to talk to three different prominent people in the civil rights movement to try to figure out what he should do as a father and the voice of a generation. And look, I'm not saying that all the other stories weren't good. I'm just saying those were the two that particularly stood out to me because they were more reflective of, of people trying to leave something and, and maybe pick up something and the start of something new. That's what I really got out of those two stories. But like I said, do I think this is the best docuseries I've ever seen? No, but I think this was just the first season. I think we're getting our beaks wet. Hopefully they get a season two and I would love to see the new eight individuals that they follow. I would love to see the how they follow them, what they follow them with, talk about their careers and such. And I want to see how they grow from this season to the next season. But that's just how I felt about the series. You guys uh, tell me how you felt if you sang Rapture. Comment on this video. You can also check me out on We Do Movies on Facebook. You can also check out all our reviews, not only on the Facebook page, but on the YouTube channel as well. And until then, we'll see you next time. Peace.